Welcome on the new tutorial series where we will be creating a top-down shooter game uh, in Unity 3D. So as all as usually, I will use Canadian uh, One site uh, for the assets for the prototype. Uh, you can download one on the, this link. I will of course put it into the video description. So to start our project, uh, we should choose new. Uh, we are going to make 2D game, so press 2D, uh, put a name here, my will be uh, Top Down Shooter Tutorial. Okay, then press create and wait for the Unity started, we are back and uh, what we'll do in this part, it will be just set up for our project. So let's create a few new folders, one will be scripts. Another one will be graphic, and third one will be prefabs. Okay, mm, to import graphic, just open our folder and go to your location where you downloaded the assets, just move it uh, into the window. And now I speed up video. After your graphic got imported, just go to the PNG folder and here we have the tiles, Control A, uh, change the pixel per unit to 54. This is the size of our tiles. I like the size of the tiles to, to match the um, Unity um, units. So 64 pixels per unit will be like one, let's say one meter in Unity. Hit apply. It'll take a while. And let's do the same trick for the. Uh, let's take a robot here. Okay. 64. Apply. Okay, and what we will do now? First, we'll create background for in our project. So, same background. Uh, we will not use Unity tileset in this tutorial. I know it's useful, but uh, let's make everything simple for now. So, maybe let's choose. Uh, let's check. Always check if your transform is zero zero zero. Uh, this may ca cause issues later on. So for now, just remember that you should always check your transforms if they are different than zero zero zero. Here, just press reset. Okay, so let's use this tie set. I will probably speed up again <laughs> this video. Uh, so let's make our tile sets here. One important thing I forgot to say before we will speed up the video, uh, just mark this tile you just added, press Ctrl D, so it will be duplicated in the same position as the previous one, and to make uh, equal steps for every move, just press Ctrl, uh, hit Move Tool, uh, sorry, first press Move Tool, Mark your tile and press Ctrl. When you hold the Ctrl, you just move by the equal steps. So every tile will match uh, another one. So you will not have any space between them. Okay. So now I will speed up the video and I will add tiles on all that area. This area, marked here, here, marked here, is the area which uh, your camera view can see. So if you press main cam camera and go to the game view, it, it is exactly what you will see here. Okay, so let's uh, prepare our background. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's just quick simple background, just for our... It will just look better when we create our game, so we'll change it later on. Mm, the only other thing we need to add uh, is our player, which we are going to use, so let's call it player. And check again the transforms. Uh, why why I can why I like uh, to do it that way um, is that we create the container and now uh, we'll take our robot and you will see what will happen. Uh, okay, hide background for now. Just okay. So what you can see here. If we go to our scene, you see that um, our transform up um, is going upward as it should go. But for our graphic, when we have the transform up, or we hide the camera, we have the transform up, our character is looking right. So to fix that, just on, we only need to choose our graphic and inside our player so if we change rotation for our graphic oh sorry not not the z, the z direction not the y the z so you will see that our graphic is pointing forward as it should be uh, this will fix the issue later on when we'll be working on the rotation. Hmm. So every move and every script will be attached for to the player, and the player will be container for all our objects, which will con uh, which will be connected to to our player, of course. Okay, so we have our player, we have our background. Uh, on the first steps, we'll be working only on the on the movement and rotation on the next part of the tutorial. So for now, it will be enough for us. But what you can see here, if we um, activate our background again, our player hides behind the, the background. So one more thing we need to add. It will be sorting layer for our graphics. Press add sorting layer and let's create here background environment and gameplay. So now on if you will go to our graphic and it will change the sorting layer. Oh Okay, I haven't saved. Ah, oh, sorry, I added the, the layers and the wrong, wrong window. Sorry, it should be here. Let's make it. Uh, just quickly fix it. Uh, okay, and game play. Okay. Uh, so now, when you will um, change the background layer here and sorting layer will be background and then we'll go to the player and we'll change player graphic for the gameplay we'll see that player is above above our grass uh, why this happened is uh, how it works maybe it works the way that Every sorting, uh, every sorting layer is uh, every new sorting layer will be rendered above the the previous one. So the lowest one will be your layer uh, that overlaps everything. So if you, for example, change the gameplay here, our background will overlap our player graphic, which we of course don't want to have. Okay, so that was quick project setup for our. Uh, future game design uh, so on the next part we'll move uh, to the coding